Hey, 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 it's your boy Kalo Star from Kalo Star's Favorite Things, and I have a beautiful product. It's a chandelier for my kitchen. Look at that, guys. Look at it. It's a teardrop chandelier for my kitchen. I'm going to be replacing an old, aged, fluorescent light with this beautiful chandelier look at that it's a drop chandelier three crystal lights there it is dimmable it's led it should be nice and bright but most of all it is beautiful now there are a lot of things in here and i think that i can do it like here is the kit that has all of this stuff in here You've got an, a perfect little light kit. I think we got everything that we need on here. The light kit. It needs to be something really strong to hold up the light. So these are where the three lights would go, right here. Yeah, so I don't wanna lose any parts, but I wanna show you the beautiful, beautiful bulbs or, or glass deals. So they look like this. I'm gonna open up one so you can see it. But I'm gonna be installing this most definitely. Take a look at the beautiful light bulbs. You get three of these. They're very heavy crystal, but they're beautiful. And they're gonna be cast skating down however you want. And they're LED. Now the instructions say if you use a dimmer strip, switch it has to be an led dimmer switch so if you install a dimmer switch on your wall make sure it's an led so i'm excited about getting this installed but that's what it's going to look like okay before you get started you need to really know how this is going to work so from the diagram it looks like this particular item will go into the junction box like so. so you have the two screws that will go there and it does come with screws all in your little packet there you get the screws for your junction box but you can usually use the screws that are already there if you have that kind of light in my case i don't have that kind of light i'm replacing a fluorescent so i'll be using the little screws here that will mount up to the junction box like so and then you will take your light and the screw it will go this way like so and then you have your nice little finished nut that will go here on the screw so that it connects like so and then you have that little connection like that now as far as the light the length you have to determine what length you want before you get up there so it has this little white uh, uh sockets or something here where you can like pull the line in and lock it down so you need to know the length that you want your lights to be and you see you get all this extra wire so if you're a really high ceiling you want it totally let down then you're going to have to let it down but if you need it to come up because you're doing something that's going to be kind of low then you need to really adjust it like so so what i would do is before i hook up the electricity part of it i would definitely get my length taken care of by getting these adjusted these little casters here whatever you call them and make sure that you have it the right length that you want yes and then of course your bulbs will go in here. Everything is kind of heavy, so you gotta make sure you have a really tight connection in your junction box. And it's gonna be all about those screws here that will be up into your ceiling into the junction box so that you get a nice finish here. So the extra wire that you pull up will sit inside of the box before you 
close the enclosure. Now this may be a two person job to make it easier. I believe one person can do it by themselves. You just have to make sure that while you're on your ladder, that you're able to hold everything up. So you don't have to worry about anything breaking because the, the beautiful bulbs you will put in at the end so that you don't have to really mess that up. So it looks to be a pretty easy setup and it has your standard wires, black, white, and you have your ground. Yes, so if you already have a ground wire up in your ceiling, you can connect this wire to the ground or it has a, a ground screw under the junction box where you can ground it there as well, the little green screw there. So it's not a hard, it's not a hard installation at all. It's just making sure you get your lengths together. And of course, make sure you power everything off on the lights before you start messing with everything here. It's gonna be pretty easy. So we're gonna get this all set up and ready to go. But just wanted to show you how easy it is to really install lighting. It's not hard. It's just making sure that everything is tight, snug, and measured to the length. And it gives you a lot of wire here to determine your drop length. Yes. Like mine is going to be over a kitchen where I have an island. So I need it to come down fairly low, but not too low where people will hit their heads or whatever. But it's over the island, you know, so it's going to be protected um, a lot there. So there you go. All right, so I got my friend to help me because he's so good at measuring and making sure things are the right dimensions. So it can be a one person job, but two people putting the light up is so much better. So what we're trying to decide here is how far we want the light to dip down. As I said, there's an island there, which he's standing on, an island there. And we don't want it too far down because taller people will bump their heads and you have to be able to cook and pots and pans and things. So making sure that you do this before you put the light up is so important. So we're trying to get that dramatic effect as well. We're going to do um, they're not going to be parallel. They're going to be uneven. So we want one lowest, one mid and one kind of up higher just so that we can get this done now what he's doing there is adjusting the little casters the little plastic snap casters on the inside to lock the wire in because you're going to pull that wire inside of the lamp shade part the part at the top so that the wire is buried before you connect it to the ceiling so that's important to get your distances exactly how you want it have someone else there to kind of look and see if that's the area of drop we put one of the bulbs on there the lowest one just to make sure that we got the lowest uh drop that we wanted and i think that one is going to work pretty well so i'm checking it on all levels just to see you see the old ugly fluorescent light that we're going to replace there it makes a lot of light but it just has no character whatsoever so we're going to add this light here for some drama effect in the room so uh, my friend is making sure that we get them all in there and all ready to go that's so important that you do this take the time get someone to eye it with you and so that you don't have to take it down and you won't be happy with how far it is you don't even have to take the light out he's just hanging it on the ceiling just to see and i think we have what we want there we have enough varying degrees between the three to give us that dramatic teardrop effect that we want with these types of lights so i want to give you a quick view inside so what uh, my friend nat is doing is in in addition to pulling the wire in we're going to put some twist ties around the wire after we've made our mark so that the wire can be snugly put in there so i'm handing him some ties so that he can get those in there and we're going to wrap the wire the twist ties around the wire so you have a neat area where you're going to store all the excess wire so 
that's that's a great idea and a great tip so that you don't have to end up just stuffing wire get it all set up before you do the actual connection to the junction junction box that's going to make it so much easier to do now a single person can do the rest by themselves because of all of the work that we've done right here so all the wiring is in there and all you got to do is just get it ready we got to remove the um, fluorescent light find our junction box turn our power off and then I will be ready to install so there you have it I have already installed it and I've gotten two of the bulbs on there you see how it's looking it looks pretty good you see the degree of difference between the two lights yeah I just want to make sure everything works just perfectly okay I finally got them up they look beautiful the only thing was I was expecting them to be a little brighter because I was replacing a pretty bright light with these I didn't realize they were gonna be so mood driven but they're beautiful thank God I have another light in my kitchen but they are very beautiful very beautiful wasn't hard to put in at all as you can see look how pretty they are I'll go closer beautiful aren't those beautiful yes nice lights pendant lights that pretty so another great product tested and approved by Kalo stars favorite things have a wonderful day bye